Aizo mm-hmm. is one of the most underwhelming characters that got introduced to the game. He got decent mobility, decent crowd control, decent tools to support his team, but when it comes to damage, he's just not the character everyone expected. In today's video I'm going to go over his strength and his weaknesses and talk about a major issue that makes this character the most unreliable in the entire roster. His alpha quirk Binding Cloth Rapture is an attack that can do various things depending on what you want. Its most basic use is on the ground, you use it and you pull your enemy, making it so you can catch and attack a running opponent. It is important to mention that you don't instantly pull your enemies, you can stall the pull just so you can coordinate with your teammates to get ready for an easy kill, but of course if you wanna pull him instantly, you just press the button once again. Its second use is in the air, you stick it either to your enemy or to the ground and you come down stomping instantly. This is what I mainly use, since not only is this a decent mobility tool, but you can also hit multiple enemies if done well. It is important to mention that depending on the angle you can also negate the stomping, therefore if you just want to use it to run away, you can do so. This is easier said than done, because unless something intangible gets in your way like a teammate, or unless you do it in an angle similar to what I'm showcasing on the screen right now, you will start stomping. This is definitely not the same quirk that Deku has, you cannot climb buildings due to the stomp, but I'd argue that this quirk is more useful. I have seen many eyes of use this quirk wrong, if you want to master this quirk's mobility, you'll want to go horizontally and not vertically. In certain areas you can literally be like Spider-Man, your enemies will have a hard time catching you. Also I kinda forgot to mention but this quirk only deals damage when you kick your enemies, not when you stick it, so even though it looks like you have dealt damage, in reality you didn't. Gotta remember that you're not the guy that does to deal massive damage, leave that to your team, you will need to be as annoying as possible to support them. His mobility doesn't end there, his beta quirk, the powerhouse kick badge, is exactly what the name suggests a barrage of kicks. As tempting as it is, this quirk is not your damaging tool, this is a skill that you wanna combine with your alpha quirk for movement or to get out of hairy situations whenever you don't have time to stick your alpha quirk. With this you can finally climb buildings if needed, but if you are a Bakugo main, then get ready for accidentally hitting square all the time. I got used to his flight ability to be on square, I still accidentally press the wrong button whenever I wanna fly away with Aizawa as well. His Goma quirk, the Binding Cloth Serpent, is a badge of attack with his cloth. This doesn't have a huge range, so be prepared that you'll have to go closer to your enemies in case you want to deal AoE damage. This is also a skill that deflects every projectile thrown at you, including Bakugo's alpha quirk, therefore if your teammate is reviving someone and you see other players approaching, it might be a good idea to jump in front of them to use this quirk. And now the actual quirk of the character which is funnily enough a special ability, Erasure. This does exactly what Aizawa does in the anime, it erases quirks. Look at your enemies and they will not be able to use their quirks. This skill has insane reach, you can look down on the entire battlefield and mess with everyone, but you've gotta remember that this only erases quirks. Special actions are still doable, so good luck catching Bakugos, they will fly away. Keep in mind that there are times when your enemies are in invincible stage, and that is when they are flashing white, and that's exactly when your erasure will not work on them, so get ready for a knuckle sandwich if you are close to these players. I recommend you to speedrun his alpha quirk to level 9, and then level up whichever ability you like better. Personally, I go for gamma quirk, and only because his beta quirk will not go up to 3 charge, it will stay on 2 charge, even on level 9, but it doesn't hurt putting a few points there as well. All of this makes it sounds like Aizo is a great support character for the team, and while that is true, due to a bug, you will never know when you're useless until it's too late. Aizawa's strongest tool, his alpha quirk, is just buggy. The reason of how or why this happens is still unknown, like I literally haven't done this video for about a whole week because I was trying to figure out how this happens but it is impossible to figure it out. His alpha quirk after a while will not pull players. I have mentioned this earlier but let me repeat it. You deal zero damage with the cloth. Your damage comes from the stomp or from your other quirks but if you cannot pull your enemies, just throw your cloth randomly, then you will never deal damage. After a while this gets fixed, but even that is random, I have no idea what interaction causes this. And that's not everything. His special quirk, Erasure, is not working as it should. Sometimes you will erase the quirk of a player from 10,000 miles away, but sometimes you won't erase your enemy's quirk that stands in front of you. This is a huge issue, you literally cannot depend on this character. This leaves you with your beta and your gamma quirk, which is just not enough. 
I Seven needs a fix ASAP. Unless he gets fixed, he will never be able to compete with anyone reliably. Oh yeah, and apparently you can also break lobbies before they even start, so there's that as well. With all of that said and done, if the bug doesn't happen, Aizawa is a pretty solid character, he's there to support his team, he's annoying to play against, and he just cannot be left alone. I cannot emphasize it enough times, his alpha quirk is his strongest tool, you can literally spider-man your way out of trouble, or you can be annoying and deal damage, this is definitely a quirk that will need time to master. The reason why people are disappointed with Aizawa is because he is not a powerhouse like Bakugo or Todoroki, he is there to support his team basically. I really don't know what anyone expected, even in the anime this character was supporting the whole cast, he was never on the frontline attacking. He's a cool guy and the older I get the more relatable he gets, but no, he is not there to spam nukes. That's gonna be it for today's guide, let me know how you feel about Eyes of a Die in the comment section, and while you're at it, please consider subscribing and dropping a like, it helps me out a lot, trust me. And if you like characters that deal insane amount of damage, then check out one of my guides on Todoroki and Bakugo, you will definitely learn something about them, trust me. Thank you all for watching this video, I hope you have had a fantastic day, stay safe, until next time boys. Peace!